In the film Avengers Endgame, the heroes are able to fix the mess made by Thanos when he was using the Infinity Stones. Well, the Hulk is able to fix it anyway. He's the only one who's strong enough to use all six of the stones at once without dying. Though it still takes a huge toll on him and it has him pretty much sit out the final fight. But one thing he says is that the radiation from the stones is mainly gamma radiation, like the radiation that made him. And he says it's like he was made for this. Which makes me wonder, what if the Hulk was actually made for this? We all know the Hulk's origin of getting hit by enormous amounts of gamma radiation that would normally just kill a person, and yet it turned him into the hulking monster of the Hulk. So what if the real reason that Bruce Banner survived this and became the Hulk was by design rather than accident? Maybe someone knew what Thanos was planning and knew that if he succeeded in using the Infinity Stones, then someone just as strong was going to be needed to use the stones against him. Now, as to how exactly they do this, we can't really say. But more than likely, someone would tweak Bruce Banner's genetics so that when gamma radiation hits him, it makes him stronger rather than weaker. As for who, well, we learnt in Infinity War that Thanos' race are gone and that he's the last of his kind. But what if he isn't the last one? It's easy enough to imagine that one or two others survived the fall of Titan. After all, Thanos survived it, so why couldn't someone else? Now, the actual race themselves are called the Eternals, at least in the comics, and they're a race of beings who can live for all time. They're super smart, and pretty much all of them have superpowers. And when Thanos turned evil and set on his quest to find the Infinity Stones, maybe one or two of his old race members who had survived saw how evil Thanos was and didn't want him to be the legacy of their species. Since Thanos is literally the biggest mass murderer in the history and entirety of the Marvel Universe. And so maybe this survivor decided to work against Thanos by creating a being strong enough to wield the Infinity Gauntlet, a being who is powered by the same radiation type of Gamma. And so they eventually created the Hulk. And of course, it is also possible that all of the Avengers' origins in some way were manipulated by the Eternals. Perhaps they were all manipulated to be created in order to defeat Thanos. But that's a thought for another time. This video is just about the Hulk. Now, as for who the survivor of the Eternal race could be, well, technically, it could be anyone. But it's most likely Alas, who is Thanos' father in the MCU. Although in some other continuities, he's actually his brother. It could also be his mother, because in the comics, his mother actually wanted to kill Thanos the moment he was born, because she saw him for the evil being that he was. Although personally, I think the father makes more sense, as he was actually the leader of the Eternals, and the one who probably had the most impact in Thanos' life. Now, since the Eternals film is slated for release in 2020, we may actually find out the Hulk was made by the Eternals for the exact reason to thwart Thanos' plan. But of course, this is just a fan theory, so it may not be the case. And maybe it wasn't the Eternals that made the Hulk, maybe it was another being. Or maybe no one made him and it was genuinely an accident. But personally, I really like the idea of him being created by design, especially by the Eternals in order to oppose Thanos and stop him from wiping out half the life in the universe. But what do you think? Do you like the idea of the Hulk being made to fight Thanos and wield the Infinity Stones? And if so, who do you think should be behind it? The Eternals or someone else entirely? Be sure to let us know in the comments. As I say a quick thank you to those who made this video possible by donating to the Needle Mouse Productions page on Patreon. And as always, thanks for watching and feel free to subscribe, share, like and comment.